Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 394. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and today we got a bit of news. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, we got interesting news. We got interesting news. So, let's hop right into it. So, remember a while back we mentioned that uh, a an Applejack version of the Bishojo Kotobukiya figure which is coming out and it seems some someone here um, colored it and it looks really good so this is not the official coloring just a concept from a fan but it looks good so if you're an AJ fan uh, I guess you would want this but I do question why do they highlight here too strong it makes the figure look to what's the word I'm looking for? Um, overexposed. But that's besides the point. But still, uh, if you are an AJ fan, and well, this is how the figure might look like. So yay! And moving on to figures, it seems that there is a garage kit version of the figures listed on E. 2046 I got no idea what this is in uh, okay I do know what this is specifically but I got no idea what the website is so um, let's just see what Seth wrote a website called e sorry, a website called e2046 has the Kotobukiya figures that have been revealed so far as garage kits these are the cheaper versions that you need to paint and assemble yourself, essentially. You can pre-order them over here. Links here. Uh, Twilight and Pinkie Pie have the... Uh, sorry. Twilight and Pinkie Pie have an expected release date of January 1st. Though it looks like a placeholder date more than anything. So, okay. Let's go and see and I have a few opinions on this okay uh, let's see so this is this website this is how it looks like if you click on the link yes sorry uh, it shows you what the Bishojo figure looks like we all know this the price here is quite cheap to be honest because uh, it's for me essentially it's a hundred and eighty three let's go for one hundred and eighty four ringgit and that's about almost thirty five maybe forty dollars but granted uh, they did mention that these figures are well these figures you need to assemble yourself and we can see here that all of the parts here interlock with each other. Um, just imagine building your uh, Legos or Gundams or whatever there is. Like, you know, those figures. And on... Oh, yeah. A good one. Warhammer. Yeah. So you need to build your own figures. Uh, would I say that this is bad? No, not really. Uh, if you are a Warhammer person, you would fit right in. And the cheaper price is also good. And let's see what the Twilight looks like. Same thing? Uh, more pictures, nine pics. Oh. No! <laughs> That's bad. No. Um, okay, so they they didn't really show anything else other than the pinkies. Okay. So, all of them here are available for 194 ringgit for me. Um, I wonder how much that's in dollars. But, you know, I, I'm curious. What do they have? What do they have here? Let's, let's go to their uh, main page. Okay. They have... Yeah, they have... A, Pokemon seems to be... A popular in thing right now. Do they say anything here? 
Da, 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 no previous. Huh. Got no idea. So, okay, um, my opinion on the figures. They're interesting. They're not going to be easy to assemble or finish because we saw how the plastic... Okay, um, Seth posted here. So we saw how the plastic looks like. We have a general idea of how to assemble them. Like you put the leg socket with each other, blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming they're, I'm assuming they're going to give you a manual. I hope so. If not, you have to really, really wonder how you're going to assemble all of them. But anywho, um, the plastics are very, very white. They're not fully assembled yet. And you can see here on the boots, I'm thinking that's, yeah, most of them here. Like, there are parts here that you need to um, sand off or snip. So basically, if you are a modelist or a hobby kit guy, this might this will fit right home to you or with you. How does that phrase go? Anyway, uh, it's not recommended to build this if you are not sure of what to do or got no idea what to do because things might get messy or things might get very, very confusing because there's a few steps to go through this because first thing you need to paint it yourself. So you need to get a primer and then you need to get the base coat and like you need to get the colors right. You need to, oh my God. Yeah, about... I'm just going to say $40, but the whole thing that's going to, well, the whole time and effort is probably going to cost you nearly as the finished product. So, buy it at your own risk, that's all I have to say. It's really interesting. I do find this fascinating, but, oh boy, this is not going to be easy to build. Fun, yes, but not easy. But anywho, let's move on to the next news. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Close this one. Close this one. Yes, okay. Pony Fan renamed themselves Starfire. And Slate responded. Hmm. So, I've read a bit about this one. And I'm not really going to... I'm not really going to reprimand the person who named themselves Starfire. They're an adult. They know better. And, well, um, they can make their own life choices. What I am going to say here, or at least advice on you people who are listening to this, Think before you make a serious decision. Renaming yourself to Starfire because you're a huge hyper MLP FIM fan may not be the best choice. How do I put this? Uh, I am going to sound like a old fogey for saying this, but your parents gave you a name or give you your name for a reason. Probably to reflect um, a, a person in their life, maybe their aunt, because I remember... Um, what, you Americans have three names? Your first name, middle name, and last name. Usually they call you by your first and last, not your middle, because your middle is something, I don't know. Um, I'm not, I don't really know, so, sorry. Uh, so, well, same goes to the Filipinos who have their middle names reflect their mother's maiden name. That's how I remember, 100% sure. So, yeah. 
Your name is there for a reason. There is a good reason to change your name if your name is freaking long. I do know somebody who has a freaking long name. Let's just say Daniel, um, chair to Siponicon and also friend of the show. He has a really long name. Not that long, to be honest, when compared to others, but still really, really long. And do I agree if you want to change your name to make it shorter and make it more convenient? I personally have not really long, but a moderate name. I have a family name, my name, and my father's name. So technically that's three and they're okay. So that's all good. But some people have names like, I don't remember, Putri Diana, Christine, Binti, something, something, something. I mean, that's short com- to comparison, but some people have really, really long names. And yeah, that's not good for them in the future because... Well, even in school, can you just imagine writing down your really long name? You spend half a minute just writing down your name on an essay. But that's besides the point. The point is, think before you act. And this one here is one of those cases where I understand that you really like the name that you selected for yourself and you want to show it to the masses but i don't know it it's not really it's not like the digital life where you can name yourself like several real real name is steve that's what the wiki said and i'm sticking with it so if Silver wants to call himself Steve to the public, he can do so, but he has to really think about it. Like, I got no idea why we, why you want to rename yourself to Star. Couldn't your friends just call you Star? Still have your real name? I'm not bashing on the person, I'm just using what's in front of me right now. Oh, that reminds me of somebody else. Nah, I'm not going to call them out. But still, um, uh, in the end, or... What was I looking for? The moral is, think before you act on a life-changing decision, because it might not be the best decision. And from reading this article here, I... from some of it, it seems that not a lot of people enjoy working with the person. So anyway, let's go to the last news. And last news is, well, <laughs> My Little Pony Live 2020 Day show postponed. Or postponed it, yes. So, this one is I got no idea. It could be a mix bad a blessing in disguise you know so anywho uh due to un for unavoidable scheduling conflicts the my little pony live tour has been postponed refunds are being issued at the point of purchase if people purchase tickets online or by phone they will be refunded automatically we are encouraging people to visit www.mylittleponylive.com and Enter their email address to sorry. Enter their email address so they can receive updates on upcoming tour dates. So we seen. Okay, we 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 didn't really see, but we were told that okay, they're gonna do a live show, a, a stage show, similar to this company's previous endeavors i think they did uh 
who was that character tiger something Billy Timmy Timothy something tiger I forgot but they did a stage show on that and it was interesting but over here with ponies there is a lot of things not going for it because the show has ended um, interest in the brand has waned a bit and then they release the pony uh, my little pony pony life trailers or announcement where the ponies are going teen titans go ish so with that it, the interest for that has gotten a mixed bag more leaning on the bad side so them cancelling this right out might be in their best interest i don't know i mean something ha having something cancelled is not great i would have it gone and shown and at least told its story that way people have you know the experience of going to watch it because mostly this show is not going to be meant for us it's going to be meant for the kids who enjoy my little pony friendship is magic and as long as they enjoy it they have fun they have a good experience with it hey good on them so as for now we'll just have to wait and see if the show has legs or not why not we'll see because it is postponed not cancelled so we shall see so anywho that is the news for this week and well i have not been doing much i have not been doing much i don't feel really great honestly i feel a bit on under the weather so give me a second need to sip my tea Sorry. So anywho, I've been. Oh, um, let's go to what have I been doing in my week? So what I've been doing in my week is nothing much. I recently bought a game, an old game, the one I've played before, but technically don't own, and that's Resident Evil Two Remake on the PC. I've been playing it for a bit and. Oh boy, it's scary. Not a huge fan of horror survival. Like it, but not a huge fan. Other than that, um, I have been well, not nothing much. I have been busy. Like life has been in the way, so I haven't I haven't been doing much. Bit of annoyance, really. But hey, what can you do? It's life oh um need to announce something i will be busy a bit next when this episode comes out it'll be on the tuesday of the 10th so i'll be busy on this week a podcast will still come out as per usual maybe a day earlier just to rush things out but i'm just gonna say that i will not be around for a bit um, I will be going on quote unquote a vacation because every December of every year I take time off to you know unwind relax and unwind and this year I have decided to go to Singapore just to hang out with friends and see the sightseeing and whatnot. Um, how does this affect the show? Um, if I do my job right, probably not. <laughs> but um, for the review and discussion podcast, that may come out a bit late. Um, for the Patreons, things will be normal because uh, things are posted a week earlier. So this week's podcast for 
the YouTubes and iTunes was posted last week for them. And just this week is just the scheduling. I if I do come home early, I might there might need be no difference if I do come home late. Um, podcast might come out on the Thursday of the afternoon or maybe afternoon like it won't be a as fast as possible so yeah fair warning there so anywho oh boys uh, let's well wrap it up so anyway I have been no I need to read stuff. <laughs> so, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, uh, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Um... Fun fact? No, not really. I have an idea for the Patreons, really. Um, something exclusive for them. Something more off the cuffs, like what I'm doing here right now. So, yeah. There's something for them in the future, if I can get it out. And if you're really interested in knowing the exclusive, well, patreon.com slash MBS show. Go support me there. Yay! So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.